yani wakati mzuri ambao tumekutana baada ya neno mshawi kutana nami maeneo mbalimbali kionafundisha katika mitandao hii ya kijamii baadhi yenu mjawi kutana nami jina langu naitwa Dr. Mlelwa au wengine wanaweza kaniita Mr. Mlelwa na ni mwalimu ambaye anafundisha mtandaoni masomo ya chemistry na biology kuanzia olevo hadi advanced level kwa hiyo kama sasa ndo naanza fomu wani au narudia mtihani wa NPC basi baada ya kumaliza masomo yako haya ya olevo tukutane pia advance kama utapenda ufundishaji wangu lakini pia nikukaribisha ndani ya website ya Dr. Mlelwa Dr.co.z ambao tunatoa mafunzo yaliyoko katika ubora na quality nzuri ya kuwezesha kufollow vizuri masomo yako kwa hiyo karibu sana shiriki pia upendo huu na jilani na watu mbalimbali unaofahamu waweze kuja katika tovuti hii na kupata masomo yao kwa background kidogo mimi I have a very good performance in chemistry and biology having an A of advanced biology and A of advanced chemistry na nikabahatika kuwa mwanafunzi wa pili kitaifa kwenye somo la advanced biology mwaka 2018 kienda kuangalia magazeti ambayo alitoa wanafunzi walioongoza kwenye masomo somo moja moja my name is there helbert isaac mlelwa so now i'm online tutor na fundisha mtandaoni and i teach different subjects in this discussion of uh, form 1 in chemistry like ni pia ta form 2 form 3 and even form 4 chemistry we'll be using the tie book see eh, kuna labato ya pata sembo zinaonyeshwa hapa tutakuwa natumia hichi kitabu cha tie kuweza kueleza concept mbalimbali mbali ambazo tunatakiwa tuzijue katika mada hii ya na maanisha katika somo hili la chemistry tuna mada nyingi ambazo tunatakiwa tuzijue lakini zote tutatumia kitabu hiki kitatuwezesha kuziendea hizo mada na kuzijadili moja baada nyingine chemistry we have several topics na hizo topics zinakuwa zinatofautiana bei kulingana na mada zenyewe na maelezo yangu yatakuwa kwenye lugha zote mbili Kiswahili na Kiingereza kutokana kwamba sio wote tuna uzoefu wa lugha fulani moja. Kwa hiyo maelezo yangu yatakuwa katika lugha zote mbili. Tatumia lugha zote mbili kuweza kuelezea ili tu tuelewane. Mimi lengo langu sio somebody aone ah, mwalimu yuko deep no. The basic things is uh, you to understand what I teach and finally to answer well your exams ili kuweza kufaulu na kuendelea na issues nyingine. Na uh, chapter 1 is introduction to chemistry. Introduction maana ni utangulizi. So hapa tunasoma utangulizi wa chemistry. This is actually not chemistry, it's just utangulizi. Kujua chemistry ni kitu gani? Chemistry tunasoma kitu gani? Chemistry na usika na kitu gani? That is introduction. Huo ndio utangulizi. Now chemistry is a fundamental to our world. Maana chemistry ni kitu cha muhimu katika dunia tunayoishi. Huwezi kuishi duniani if you don't apply chemistry. Chemistry is everywhere. Chemistry iko kokote kwenye maisha ambayo unaishi duniani. What you eat is chemistry. Kile chakula unachokula ni chemistry. Maneno hayo unayoongea mpaka unaongea maneno chemistry imeshatokea. So chemistry eh au Kiswahili wanaita kemia Chemistry is fundamental. Fundamental ni kitu ambacho ni msingi. Yaani ni kitu ambacho ni cha muhimu. Is fundamental to our world. Eh? Ni kitu ambacho ni cha msingi katika dunia tunayoishi. Huwezi ukafanya chochote kama hujazungumza chemistry. So ni kitu ambacho ni cha msingi sana. It plays great role. Inafanya kazi. Play ni kama ku, eh, play kwenye Kiswahili tungesema kucheza tukisema it plays great role maana inafanya kazi kubwa great ni kitu kubwa great rules inafanya kazi kubwa in our everyday lives katika maisha yetu ya kila siku it plays great role in our everyday lives inafanya kazi kubwa katika maisha yetu ya kila siku chemistry inafanya kazi kubwa 
katika maisha yetu ya kila siku in our everyday life activities and it touches almost every aspect of our lives na inagusa it touches inagusa almost karibia kila kitu kwenye maisha yetu it touches almost every aspect of our lives kwa chemistry inagusa karibia kila kitu cha maisha yetu in many ways kwa namna nyingi so inagusa almost every aspect of our lives in many ways kwa namna nyingi utaenda kuona tu kwa namna zipi na utakubali kwamba haipiti siku lazima umeshatumia chemistry <laughs> hata kama unaishi nyumbani tu haipiti siku lazima umeshatumia chemistry now in this way kwa namna hiyo basi in this chapter you learn katika mada hii you learn utajifunza kuhusu about the concept of chemistry uh, concepts za chemistry items made by application of chemistry vifaa mbalimbali ambavyo vinatengenezwa kwa matumizi ya ujuzi wa chemistry and importance of chemistry yani faida za chemistry in real life kwenye maisha ya kila siku the competencies developed through learning chemistry uh, through learning chemistry will enable you to apply chemistry knowledge ule ujuzi unaotengeneza kwa kutumia kusoma chemistry unaweza kukuruhusu wewe kuwa na ujuzi wa chemistry skills and the principles to solve daily life problems na hata kanuni za kusolve matatizo ya kila siku daily life problems related to various things pose na uhusiano na vitu mbalimbali including food kama chakula either mtu amekula sumu au kula chakula ambacho kina shida utasolve vipi that's the application of chemistry clothing mavazi shelter mali poka clean air hewa nzuri water yani maji energy yani nguvu soil udongo and changing natural resource of the earth to useful substances hivi vyote vinaweza vikatumia chemistry uh, energy mambo ya change natural resource ayo tunaweza kutumia chemistry kuweza kuyafanya now i hope for to some extent even a little bit umepata kujua chemistry Uh, chemistry ni kitu cha aina gani and even if hujapata kujua bado even a little bit mingoe ni kuacha but in the coming session tutaanza kabisa na concept of chemistry what is chemistry that's our discussion in the coming session thank you